bill from the detail company for March 11th that you had the car detailed. You don't have that. Totally understand. Good. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $720. That's all. Parties are excused. You may step out. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And on the next Judge Judy. When I came back home, my money was gone. Do you have any other proof that he stole your money? Was it just wrong place, wrong time? You have been arrested, Mr. Massey? Yes. For what? Drug, like marijuana. Have you ever been arrested for anything else? Judge Judy. Hey, Doug, you hungry? Silence nighttime cravings with new Dexatrim Max Evening Appetite Control. Helps block cravings without stimulants so you can lose weight. Say goodnight to nighttime eating. Net Zero gives you the fastest surfing available over dial-up and virus protection starting at $9.95. Try it risk-free for 30 days with our money-back guarantee. Join the party. With the calcium your body needs, fast relief is our specialty. Cholesterol. My doctor said to watch it. Garlic maintains healthy cholesterol naturally. My doctor's happy. So am I. Eat right, exercise, garlic. Totally happy, consider I didn't have the receipts for the other stuff. This man is horrible. We use drugs, whatever. You could tell she was totally lying. Partying, yeah, drinking, yeah. Having fun, like normal. She said she couldn't remember anything. That night we pay, I paid him, I believe, I would think it was a check. She didn't pay with a check, she paid with a credit card, which bounced. It's been a year, and I didn't even hear from this man. He knew where I lived. If you know, he didn't get paid. I, if someone owed me money, I would go. She dirtied her name. It's just crazy. Now on 6 News. Unfortunately, and to my great disappointment, Formula One will not be back next year. A losing formula. What the loss of the F1 race will mean to Indy. Where is he? The search tonight for a missing mail carrier. Property tax crisis. The two new plans unveiled aimed at helping cash-strapped homeowners. From the team on your side, this is Six News, first at five. And thanks for joining us. We start tonight with the race leaving Indianapolis and taking nearly $100 million with it. The Speedway confirmed today the Formula One U.S. Grand Prix will not be back in Indy next year. We begin our team coverage with Ray Cortapassi, who was at that announcement today. Ray, tell us. Well, Martha, after eight years of Indianapolis enjoying the international spotlight, the plug has been pulled on the U.S. Grand Prix. Talks between the F1 and the IMS broke down, and Tony George broke the news this afternoon. When the U.S. Grand Prix disintegrated into the farce it became in 2005, Indianapolis Motor Speedway officials breathed a sigh of relief when Formula One came back in 2006. This year, after last month's race, they've gone from relieved to bereaved. The Formula One will not be back next year, uh, but my sincere hope is, is that we'll have an opportunity to bring it back in, in, in the not too distant future. The deal, or lack thereof, came down to the sanctioning fee which the two sides couldn't agree upon, and perhaps the brash temperament of F1 boss Bernie Ecclestone. Either way, the departure is a big loss for more than just the Speedway. Uh, I'd rather have it than not have it, but uh, you know what, this is a city on a roll and uh, you know, we're going to be fine. City officials, anyway. From the fan side of things, it didn't register much on the racing radar. Did you go to any Formula One race? Uh, no, didn't really get into it too much. More of a NASCAR guy, to tell you the truth. I'm not that interested in follow Formula One. I don't follow it. I don't pay much attention to it, really. So it's not a big loss? Not a big loss for me. The loss leaves next fall's U.S. MotoGP motorcycle race as the lone international sporting event at the track. Racing analyst Robin Miller says the lack of F1 interest has a lot to do with more than just the tire fiasco two years ago or even the phony finish in 2003. The race fans, they care about the Brickyard, then the Indy 500, and the MotoGP will be, I think it'll be pretty well received. But Formula One is just, it, it just, Scott Speed didn't bring anybody out here, nobody cares. Until you get an American in a good car, it's not going to matter. So when you talk about Bernie Ecclestone, a lot of descriptions come to mind when you're discussing the Euro elite that he represents. Joining us now with, with more on the man in the middle there, Brad Brown, more on Bernie Ecclestone. Yeah, when F1 comes to town, Bernie Ecclestone, definitely the man in charge here at the Speedway. And Tony George, we've heard from him, and now it's time to hear from the F1 boss himself. Back on Grand Prix weekend, our own Dave First had a very interesting exchange with him, and not many words to hear from the F1 boss when talking about maybe the future of the series here in Indianapolis. Is there a future, though, for this series here in Indianapolis? We have to ask Tony. You guys have been talking a lot yeah. back and forth this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Are things progressing? 
well, I hope so. I hope we haven't wasted, you know, <laughs> a lot of time. Now, it seems like the talks have been between Tony and Bernie almost exclusively. Today, Mr. George had some good things to say about his F1 counterpart. A lot of people think, you know, of Bernie in a lot of different ways. And, um, you know, I, I continue to have a great deal of respect for him and, and don't think his personality in any way factored into the decision we mutually agreed, agreed on. And of course, another question is, will the U.S. Grand Prix be in the U.S. next year or somewhere else? We'll have more of that and more from Tony George coming up tonight at 6. All right, Brent Brown, we've talked about the racing side of things, but another big impact here, as we've discussed, has been on businesses in town. We'll have that coming up uh, on the news at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Ray Cordopassi, 6 News. Martha. All right, thank you, sir. And we want to know what you think. Are you disappointed the F1 race will not return to Indy next year? Well, so far, the majority of you say... Not at all. To vote, go to the IndyChannel.com. That poll is right on the home page. Tonight, a team of federal postal investigators is searching for a missing mail carrier. John Jordan vanished from his mail route yesterday without a trace. He's a mail carrier in Greenfield in Hancock County. And Rick Hightower is there with the very latest in the search. Anything new tonight, Rick? Well, Martha, this is the quiet neighborhood where John Jordan began his door-to-door -door mail delivery each day. But yesterday, he delivered to just one house before... He disappeared. It was very mysterious. Federal postal investigators combed through thick brush in a wooded area Thursday in Greenfield looking for any evidence they could find in the case of missing mailman John Jordan. We brought in more investigators and we're continuing around the clock. The search area isn't far from where postal worker John Jordan's mail truck was found abandoned Wednesday after Jordan just vanished. Jordan's truck was found parked here at Sycamore and Chestnut in Greenfield. The post office says it wasn't unusual for him to just park his truck here and walk his route. But the mail was found inside along with his mail bag. Very gentle, very kind, um, loved his family, um, had a heart for God, for people. Those who live along his mail route couldn't believe that the 20-year veteran postal worker could have just disappeared on his own. One of the nicest people, one of the nicest guys. You would just think, you know, nothing. And then all of a sudden he just disappears. The Greenfield Post Office was shut down Thursday so Jordan's co-workers wouldn't have to enter the building. Instead, carriers worked out of trucks in the nearby Walmart parking lot. Even those who didn't know the letter carrier from Knightstown are praying for his safe return. We're all concerned about it here in Greenfield. You know, the mailman just don't up and disappear. This is the spot where Jordan's truck was parked yesterday. Fellow letter carriers found it, and they found his mailbag once again inside, along with the mail, and only one house had been delivered to. We spoke with the family in Knightstown today. They had no comment at this point on the investigation. We'll have the latest coming up later at 6 and tonight. Rick Hightower reporting live in Greenfield. All right, we will have the very latest on that as they become available. Well, now to Indiana's property tax crisis. Marion County homeowners may get some relief from the skyrocketing bills. We have learned details of a pair of plans designed to help cushion the blow of those tax payments. Norman Cox is on your side with details on the two plans, and he joins us live with the news. Norm? Well, Martha, one of those plans would reduce your property tax bill. The other would allow you to pay it over a longer period of time. And it appears right now that both of them are very likely to be enacted. I was Marion County Treasurer Mike Rodman unveiled his tax plan first. It's aimed at homeowners whose taxes have gone up at least 10 percent, which would be the vast majority. Rodman would allow them to pay the same amount as last year, plus 10 percent, this month and in November when the second installment is due. The rest would be stretched out over eight installment payments. But there are a number of people who cannot pay uh, by July the 27th. And, and those are the people that I'm concerned about. And I want to I wanna ease that burden, make it easier for them to handle this. Here's an example of how the plan would work. Say your tax bill was $1,000 last year and increased to $1,700. You would pay $550 in July and November and $75 in each of the other eight months. Rodman says the plan wouldn't affect people who pay taxes through their mortgages. Most of those homeowners already have similar arrangements through their escrow shortage funds. Meanwhile, Mayor Bart Peterson was proposing to divert the first three months of money from his proposed income tax increase from public safety to tax relief. 
and to refinance the county's debt to the state for child welfare and incarceration. Total savings to be passed on to homeowners, $75 million over two years. No one has actually proposed actual reductions in the 2007 property tax bills. And that's what I'm here to do today. City County Council leaders say Rodman's plan will sail through, but they're still looking at the mayor's. We would have to have our people to look at it and see how it would affect the entire community. Now, parts of both plans would require state approval, but both fall in line with ideas that Governor Daniels has advocated recently. Coming up at 6, how the mayor's plan would affect a couple of average homes. Live downtown, I'm Norman Cox, 6 News. Now, Norm, the mayor talked a little bit about government savings and the consolidation issue. There's also big news on that front today. Well, that's right. So far, we've had a couple of fire departments voluntarily join with IFD. It's absent the state legislature mandating it. That was Washington and Warren Township. Today, the trustee in Lawrence Township, Mike Hobbs, said that he was going to start seeking a resolution out there to have the Lawrence Township Fire Department also merge with IFD. Now, that's Lawrence Township. That wouldn't include the city of Lawrence. Okay. Norma Cox, live downtown. Thank you, sir, for that update. Well, tonight, the man challenging Mayor Bart Peterson in the race for mayor said he would support the elimination of property taxes altogether in Marion County. Republican candidate Greg Ballard released a statement saying, quote, it makes no sense to continue this antiquated method of raising revenue. Six News is on your side tonight with the very latest on the Super 70 project. Want to take a live look now from Skycam. You are on board overhead where we are awaiting the switchover of westbound traffic to the newly paved lanes for half of the six mile project. That change is still scheduled to happen tonight. Haven't done it yet. The lanes just west of Emerson will cross over onto the eastbound side again. INDOT says it'll stay that way until the new bridge over Sherman Drive is finished. Could happen about 8 o'clock tonight. Six News has learned of a new delay in the buyout of Perry Township School Superintendent Doug Williams' contract, so it's not really over yet. A board member tells Six News the delay comes because the two sides can't agree on a clause in the settlement that would forbid them from suing each other in the future. The school board approved the buyout deal Monday night in what was supposed to be an end to this divisive debate. Dr. Williams has been on leave since November for what some board members described as insubordination. Tonight, a report card from the White House on the situation in Iraq. President Bush is talking about the benchmarks that have been met and the ones that have not. Also next, that hotel room may look clean, but is it really? We're on your side with where the germs are hiding. We're also working on your top six and six, including a theater that has sat vacant for years on the local street. Now, neighbors want it saved before age and disrepair get it first. And our days with below average temperatures are numbered. We're at 82 right now. We'll talk about our low chance for rain, too, tonight coming up. For one weekend only, this Saturday and Sunday, Champion is offering unheard of savings on windows and patio rooms. This marketing event is designed to test the TV advertising in Indianapolis. Get one free window for each window you purchase. Patio rooms are 15% off plus free blinds. This very special event will not be advertised anywhere else. Mention this TV commercial at our showroom to get these savings. These specials have never been offered before. Visit our website or call for directions. This weekend only at the Champion Showroom. Open Saturday and Sunday till 5. In the war on crime, you need a good partner, like Mayor Bart Peterson. Sheriff Anderson and I have worked together to stop the early release of criminals from jail. And we've cut waste, beefed up our crime lab, and added new technology. But there's more work to do. We're making a stronger investment in crime prevention to keep kids on the right track. We're putting more officers on our streets. And we're securing our police and firefighters' pensions because it's the right thing to do. Winning the war on crime won't be easy. Working with Bart Peterson, we can do it. Sagamore employees care about our community. Donating time. Getting involved. From one leader to another, Sagamore supports the RTV6 Leadership Award. Sign up now. Six News on the Go. Sponsored by Papa John's. I have COPD with chronic bronchitis, which makes it hard to breathe. But now that I'm breathing better with Advair, I can cheer my grandson to victory. For people with COPD with chronic bronchitis, great news. Advair helps significantly improve lung function. While nothing can reverse COPD, Advair is different from other medications because it's the only product with an anti-inflammatory and a bronchodilator working together to help you breathe better. 
Advair won't replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden symptoms and should not be used more than twice a day. Lung infections, including pneumonia, have been reported with Advair. Taking Advair may increase your risk for osteoporosis and some eye problems. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking Advair and ask about the risks and benefits of continuing Advair after six months. Thanks for coming, Grandpa. I wouldn't have missed it. Ask your doctor how Advair helps improve lung function for better breathing. Find out how to get your first full prescription free at AdvairCOPD.com. Yo, what your boys got there? It's a Pazone. That's huge. Mm, delicious. Mm -hmm. So... No! It's back. The Pizza Hut Pizone is yours alone. Over one pound of melted cheese and tasty toppings baked in a pizza crust. A big eat for the tiny price of $5.99. Or get two for $10.99. Tackle your hunger with classic meaty or pepperoni. Hey, Mooch, want one? Yeah. Order up. Get way more. Get America's favorite pizza, Pizza Hut. Now online. Tonight, the Transportation Security Administration says there are no terrorism concerns linked to a flight that was diverted to JFK early this morning. The American Airlines flight was headed to London from L.A. An airline spokesperson says a flight attendant became concerned a passenger may not have gone through proper security screening. The showdown between executive privilege and congressional subpoenas is getting a little more heated today. Former White House counsel Harriet Myers obeyed an order from President Bush and she did not show up for a House Judiciary Subcommittee hearing. She'd been subpoenaed to testify about the firings of eight federal prosecutors. A House panel has now cleared the way for contempt proceedings to begin. At one time, Myers was a Supreme Court nominee. The annual Indiana Black Expo summer celebration starts today. The 11-day celebration will feature family-friendly events until July 22nd. There will be more than 700 exhibitors at the celebration and other events to look forward to include Children's Day on July 16th, also a free concert on Sunday the 22nd, and make sure you stop by the Cultural Arts Pavilion starting July 20th. It is sponsored by RTV6 and includes the Colt Super Bowl trophy as well as works by Nelson Mandela. We have the Touch of Mandela exhibit, um, a broken landscape. The Republic of Senegal is bringing in a delegation of 40 artisans and businessmen and community leaders. And um, we have the Department of uh, Tourism for the country of Bermuda coming in as well. So we're very excited about all those partnerships that are relatively new. We'll have so much more information on parking and safety issues for the summer celebration on your 6 News at 6 o'clock. And for more information on Indiana Black Expo summer celebration events, parking, hotels, everything you need to know, just go to theindychannel.com and click on Scene on 6 News. You know, summer travel often means spending a night or two or several in a motel or hotel room, but how clean is it really? Plus, why your hotel stay could be more expensive than ever this summer. John Metaris is on your side with both of those issues. When you arrive at a hotel room, the first thing most of us do is make sure the room looks clean. Unfortunately, some of the dirtiest parts of that room are items that are rarely, if ever, cleaned. The consumer publication Bottom Line Personal says hotel rooms can be infested with germs. It's not the sink, tub, or toilet, which are cleaned daily. Rather, Bottom Line says the phone, clock radio, and TV remote control are usually never cleaned. And bedspreads are cleaned only once or twice a year in many hotels. My advice, don't lay on the bedspread in your underwear. And if you worry about germs, wipe the phone and TV remote with antibacterial wipes. And speaking of hotels, the Doesn't That Stink file includes all the add-on fees now commonplace at upscale hotels. Hotels now charge a fee for the workout room, hot tub, and pool, even if you don't plan to use them. I say, doesn't that stink? Often these fees are trapped in a resort fee. Many urban hotels now charge a parking fee as well. That can add another $30 a night to your rate. If you don't know about it at booking time, that stinks. So ask about extra fees before giving your credit card so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. Well, wine connoisseurs across the globe are in shock tonight after the wine known as Two Buck Chuck beat out hundreds of pricier labels at a contest in, of all places, California. The Charles Shaw 2005 California Chardonnay just won the California State Fair commercial wine competition. The Two Buck Chuck, as it's called, topped 350 other bottles, some costing nearly 30 times as much. I will have to try that. I have never tried Two Buck Chuck. 
I'm a Diet Coke man, you know. That's, that's all that has my attention. <laughs> I know, he's iced tea. Let's look at this uh, beautiful, well, the vineyards in Indiana. The grapes probably need some rain as well as the rest of central Indiana. As far as the tower cam view right now, you can see the fair weather clouds. This would be a great picture for artists to draw, those fair weather clouds across central Indiana, where they've been making news in Speedway. It's 82 with the wind about 11 miles an hour, central Indiana. Rain-free at this point. I'll talk about the possibility of a shower, a thunder shower popping up this evening in just a little bit. Day four of Weather Camp is in the books, and let's see what we learned today. Weather Camp is this way. And then this way. I'm starting to get confused. I'm not sure which way. Once in place, campers learned about weather instruments, a barometer, measures atmospheric pressure, an anemometer measures wind speed. Water! is the highest wind gust on record in Indianapolis. A hygrometer. Measures humidity. There's actually a hair hygrometer. A thermometer. The highest temperature ever recorded in Indianapolis is 107. <gasps> is your name Kelvin? No, my name is Kevin, but Kelvin is a temperature scale. Kelvin, I mean Brett. Kevin, we're teaching them about tornadoes today, and you can see they are rotating counterclockwise. I see the debris! Yeah. We also learned about clouds. The sun. Lightning. If you see it, clear it. If you hear it, clear it. Rain dropped. Are not tear shaped. They're either circular or flat on the bottom and round on top. Like a parachute or a falling hamburger bun. <laughs> Ah, we only wish it would rain Big Macs tonight. You can see the showers that are out to the west, fairly thin line, the chance of rain at your house about 20%. I still think after 8 o'clock tonight, possibility a couple showers popping up into the early morning hours. Below average today, again, by just a couple degrees, 86 average, we were at 84, but we started in the 50s. That's what was so refreshing. The humidity level is low, and that is what's lowering our chance for rain. There's your wind out of the west, northwest. That's why temperatures have been below average. 78 in Terre Haute. 82 in Indy, a couple of 79s for Peru and Muncie. Temperatures are headed back into the 50s. This is our chance for showers and thunder showers, but as you project that to the southeast, you can see moving across really the southern half of the state. I wouldn't rule out some isolated pop-up showers and thunder showers. Truecast certainly doesn't. This is at 7 o'clock. There's your optimistic view of a couple thunderstorms from Lafayette to Muncie. That rolls to the south and east first thing in the morning. More clouds, I think, than rain, and showers in the southern portion of the state linger into the early part of the day, but watch by the time we meet at West Park in Carmel tomorrow night for a special preview night of ABC Fall Shows. Temperatures will be in the low 80s and it will be dry across central Indiana. There's the showers that pop up this evening. They slide to the south and east. We'll watch to the north for the weekend. Slight chance of showers on Saturday in the northern portion of the state. The more noticeable change for the weekend will be warmer temperatures returning. Temperatures going above average by the time we get to Sunday. Here's your forecast for tonight. That chance of rain 20 percent. Temperatures will stop in the upper 50s. Stop from falling any further during the day tomorrow. Temperatures again low 80s. Our chance for a shower in the morning hours and then that slight chance Saturday and back up to summertime warmth as we get Sunday through Wednesday. Temperatures of around 90 degrees for highs. All right. Thank you so much, Kevin. Feels good while we got it. Time to check in now with Tom Davis and live drive traffic on the northeast side. Tom. And Martha, a couple of problems tonight. Watch out for slowdowns on 69 northbound at State Road 238. Big Kenny Chesney concert tonight causing delays already on northbound 69, but jammed up back to Fishers. And volume plus the concerts got you jammed up back to 465 on northbound 69. Out towards Shelby 4, I-74 westbound at State Road 9. They're pulling an overturned car out of a field. Watch for the right lane blocked if you're westbound on State, uh, 74 at State Road 9 near Shelbyville, heading back into Indianapolis. Tom Davis, 6 News, and your live drive traffic. Coming up on 6 News. The road that looked more like a river today, and it wasn't Mother Nature doing. Next, the drivers forced to the roofs of their cars. And you probably have magnets on your fridge, and now they're being used to help heal hearts. We're going to show you how it works in our Staying Healthy report. I'm Charles Gibson. Coming up on World News, they served their country overseas and came home injured and troubled. And then the Army denied them the benefits they say they deserve. Why did the Army show them the door? Bob Woodruff reports.
Fridays after 5 p.m., a ride pass at Indiana Beach is only $12 with your Plus card or any Dasani water bottle. Enjoy the DJ on the boardwalk and register to win a Dasani bicycle, Yamaha Wave Runner, or StarCraft Camper. Enjoy a Friday night at Indiana Beach and ride for only $12. Indiana Beach on beautiful Lake Schaefer, Monticello, Indiana, proving once again there is more than corn in Indiana. Friday the 13th is your lucky day at Sopa Express and more. For one day only, everything in our store is 13% off our already low factory direct prices. Every sofa, chair, bedroom, and dining room group is 13% off. Plus, get free financing for 13 months. We'll be open for 13 hours from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. If you're in the market for new furniture, then Friday the 13th is definitely your lucky day. Sopa Express and more. Expressly your style. Have fun at ABC's Red Carpet Screening Tour with a sneak peek of Pushing Daisies and Samantha Who. Plus, a special appearance by Tony and Elena from Dancing with the Stars. Friday in West Park and Carmel. Strawberry Serenade at IHOP. Delicious strawberries served up with pancakes, French toast, and fabulous funnel cakes starting at $4.99. IHOP. Come hungry, leave happy. And for an encore, try IHOP at dinner time, too. Mosquitoes? Don't soak yourself with a sticky, wet repellent. Stay dry with new Off Smooth and Dry. Its unique cornstarch formula dries on contact, so it's comfortable on your skin, unlike ordinary repellents. Feel the difference wow. with new Off Family Care Smooth and Dry. Feels good on, keeps bugs off. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Six News is covering America tonight, starting with the scene in Livonia, Michigan. This is near Detroit. Water main break left drivers on Interstate 96 stranded today. Some people attempted to drive through the rising water. Big mistake. A handful of them got stuck and had to climb on top of their cars. No reports of injuries at this time. Also, more plane troubles in Florida. This time, an ultralight was forced to make an emergency landing in Homestead. Fire officials say the pilot was able to walk away unhurt. He was the only person on board. Also, the news keeps getting worse for Senator John McCain's presidential campaign today. Two prominent Iowa Republican activists resigned from his team. Ed Failer Jr. and Karen Slifka both had close ties to Terry Nelson, who was running McCain's campaign until he left earlier this week. Not clear if McCain will skip the Iowa caucuses as he did in 2000. An Indiana police officer under arrest the charges level against him involving a child. Also ahead, a deadly a police chase. Overnight in a motorcycle crash here on the south side. Now his friends are hoping others can learn from his death. I'm Julie Persley. That story is coming up on 6 News. The war in Iraq is headed in a dangerous direction. Plus a long-awaited report about Iraq, why some say it shows change is needed now. I'm Stacia Matthews. We've all taken a sip of water from a garden hose, but in today's Staying Healthy report, I'll tell you why you shouldn't. Share your weather pictures at theindychannel.com. For one weekend only, this Saturday and Sunday, Champion is offering unheard of savings on windows and patio rooms. This marketing event is designed to test the TV advertising in Indianapolis. Get one free window for each window you purchase. Patio rooms are 15% off plus free blinds. This very special event will not be advertised anywhere else. Mention this TV commercial at our showroom to get these savings. These specials have never been offered before. Visit our website or call for directions. This weekend only at the Champion Showroom. Open Saturday and Sunday till 5. It's Watson's Pool, Spa, Patio Furniture, and Play Gym Clearance Sale. Up to half off on floor models and select products. 24-foot pools, only $16.99. Free winter cover. Free chlorinator. Free installation. And six months, same as cash. Area's largest selection of brand name spas and hot tubs, now at clearance sale prices. Save up to 50% on patio furniture. Basic to elegant, it all must go. Have fun. Quality Play Gyms, only $12.99 installed. That's Watson's.
biggest automotive names in the state of Indiana. All at the Castleton Square Mall today through Saturday. Dateline, Indiana. Thousands of race fans are driving to their nearest Subway restaurant for a taste they can't get anywhere else. From Columbus to Kokomo, Greencastle to Greenfield, and of course, Indianapolis, people are revved up about Tony Stewart track packs. Start your engines with real value, great taste, and a free number 20 window cling only from Subway restaurants. Right now, you can get a Tony Stewart track pack for $4.99 or less. Choose from nine delicious regular six-inch subs, add chips and a 21-ounce drink, and get a free number 20 decal. Subway. Race hard. Eat fresh. Have you heard? Bright House Networks is making every service we bring you brighter. For instance, we've made three-way calling available with our phone service. So now you can catch up with your two closest friends at the same time. Right now, get a great deal on video, internet, and phone. Just $79.95 a month for six months. That's $79.95 a month for video, internet, and statewide digital phone service. Call 972-9700 or visit mybrighthouse.com. A Camby man is dead after a motorcycle crash on the south side of Indianapolis. He crashed during a short police chase overnight. It began at Banta and US 31 and ended with the crash at Banta and McFarland Road. Julie Persley talked with his friends about their plea for all drivers. He's a good dude. <laughs> I always wanted to help everybody. He's a good guy. 20-year-old Tyler Rose is seen here in a picture taken with friends just last week. His friends found it this morning at the scene of a crash where he lost his life at Banta and McFarland Roads. Indianapolis Metro Police say Rose took off when an officer tried to stop a few motorcycles for speeding near US 31 and Banta. Rose died in this crash a few minutes later when he apparently lost control of his motorcycle, hitting a sign in two trees. Friends and investigators tell Six News Rose was likely running because he was afraid he'd get another ticket. So one of my other buddies was riding with him and, and when they got pulled over and he, he took off. He was scared. We had actually stopped this individual last week and actually had written him two tickets. What we've learned is that he only had a learner's permit. Police say they're trying to crack down on speeding this summer to prevent deadly crashes. People who live in this Southside neighborhood and frequently hear speeding motorcycles at night tell us they too have been concerned. What's the biggest problem with all the kids on the bikes? Probably their own safety. Their own safety. Rose's friends have a message they want to get out and hopes that others won't feel the type of loss they're experiencing. Don't run because then you can have another, you know, incident like we got here. You know, it's not like you're going to, like, die if you get your ticket. You know, you can live on. But, you know, if you run, you got to take the chance of having this happen. Rose was not wearing a helmet at the time of the crash. Indiana law requires anyone with a motorcycle learner's permit to wear a helmet at all times. They're also not allowed to drive at night. From the south side, Julie Persley, 6 News. A Terre Haute police officer faces child molestation charges. Officer Carl Graham entered a plea of not guilty to three felony counts of child molestation. A statement from his family says Graham maintains his innocence and believes he will be vindicated. The judge ordered him not to have contact with the child or the child's family. Police released few details about the allegations which stemmed from a complaint made to police on June 21st. The White House today delivered its report on the status of the government in Iraq. It is based on criteria devised by Congress. Congress to measure progress toward Iraqi self-sufficiency. And many say the findings, more than four years after the U.S. invasion, can hardly be called inspiring. ABC's Yunji Denise reports from Washington. After months of talks of benchmarks, today, finally, a White House report card on Iraq. I believe we can succeed in Iraq, and I know we must. But while the president believes success is possible, the realities of the report may suggest otherwise. Of the 18 Iraqi government benchmarks, eight have been met, another eight have not, and two more are mixed. President Bush says the Iraqi forces, so vital to reducing the need for American soldiers, have made some gains in reducing violence. But overall, they failed to make sufficient progress. On the political side, there are even fewer gains. The Iraqi government has not reached political reconciliation, and has made few steps toward economic stability. The report warns of a tough fight ahead. The president acknowledged that could be difficult for the American people to stomach. 
There's war fatigue in America. It's affecting our psychology. I've said this before. I understand that. It's an ugly war. And Democrats say the report proves it's an ugly war that must end. The war in Iraq is headed in a dangerous direction. And the wrong direction, of course. President Bush is out of touch. He's out of touch with the reality of the war in Iraq. He's out of touch with the American people. The president is asking for patience, at least through September. That's when General David Petraeus will give the final report to Congress. But Democrats and a growing number of Republicans say their patience has already run out. Yanji Denise, ABC News, Washington. And World News with Charles Gibson will have much more in today's Benchmark Report on Iraq coming up at 6.30 here on RTV6. Meantime, the U.S. Justice Department has filed a discrimination lawsuit against the city of Indianapolis claiming discrimination in the police department. That lawsuit claims the department passed over eight white male officers over for promotion, instead choosing less qualified female and African-American candidates. The lawsuit is the latest step in a Justice Department push to get the city to stop using racial consideration and hirings and promotions. It's been in place since 1977. The city's corporate council says they will fight the lawsuit. Toys R Us is also being sued for allegedly discriminating against black customers. The lawsuit filed in New York claims workers at the national toy chain scrutinize black customers more than white shoppers when it comes to preventing shoplifting. The multi-million dollar lawsuit says workers subject black customers to a higher level of scrutiny when checking receipts at the door. Toys R Us calls the allegations unfounded and says the company does not tolerate discrimination of any kind. Fire investigators are trying to find out what started an overnight fire at a north side business. It broke out about 3.30 in the 2300 block of Winthrop. The building housed several businesses, including a dump truck company and a body shop. Parts of the roof collapsed, forcing firefighters out. Damage is estimated at $25,000, but good news, nobody was hurt. Well, we are putting the final touches on your top six at six, including a marriage made in jail? Why the third time proved to be very unlucky for this Hoosier bride. And still ahead, first at five, the more than $10,000 tip for an Indiana waitress. Love this story, plus the debate over a water park. The Greenwood Parks Board wants to replace this 50-year-old swimming pool, but some taxpayers think they've gone off the deep end. Why? That story coming up on 6 News. It was the longest and most dangerous running of the Bulls to date. What happened that led to several goings, including an American tourist? Ow, back in a moment. And there are a lot of numbers on this map, but focus on the humidity. And with the very low humidity, our chance for rain will be low, too. I'll have those details coming up. I'm 6 News crime investigator Jack Reinhardt on your side with one of this week's six most wanted. Can you help police find Danny LaFleur? He's wanted by U.S. Marshals for violation of probation. If you know where he is, call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-92-ALERT or log on to theindychannel.com. At Value City Furniture, we're offering you the chance to sleep and save. Announcing the Big Summer Mattress Sale. Begin sleeping tonight on a premium American Signature Royal Serenity Queen Mattress Set for as little as $3.99. Get additional savings of up to $500 on other top-of-the-line mattress sets. Plus, pay absolutely nothing until 2008. Warm up to huge savings during the Summer Mattress Sale at Value City Furniture. Where you'll find the lowest prices every day. Guaranteed. cholesterol here. Great taste. Your 2%? Next. Great taste. No cholesterol. Great taste. No cholesterol. Honey Nut Cheerios. When something tastes great and can help lower cholesterol, it's quite a draw. <laughs> Honey Nut Cheerios. Be happy, be healthy. Fleetwood Enterprises, one of North America's largest RV manufacturers, proudly presents our newest lineup to the greater Indianapolis area. We have selected Camping World of Indianapolis, formerly Stouts RV, to receive a private reserve of inventory to be sold at introductory pricing. Over 30 acres of inventory will be on display, with payments as low as $487 a month, and unbelievable savings on select models of the 2007 American Heritage, plus over 8,000 outdoor products and accessories. Doors open early to the public, one location only. Call Camping World of Indianapolis at 1-866-RV-DEALER for hours and directions. Hi, Indiana. I'm James Tupper from Men and Trees. Here's what's coming up tonight on ABC and RTV6. This is the story of two sisters with a lot in common. 
Both were diagnosed with osteoporosis and both had mild back pain. But one took the pain and did nothing. The other took her back pain seriously and she took charge. She saw her doctor who diagnosed spinal fractures. Because she acted quickly, the fractures were repaired to help her stand strong. If you're over 50, don't ignore even mild back pain. It may signal a spinal fracture. Call now for your free fracture assessment kit to know your risks and how to talk to your doctor before it's too late for treatment. This is the story of two sisters with a lot in common, but one took the pain. One took charge. Now one takes care of the other. Don't wait. If you have back pain, call 1-877-917-1212 or go to SpinalFracture.com and take charge. The Greenwood City Council will decide whether to build the city's largest and most expensive park, most likely with a water theme. But with property owners edgy over impending tax bills, could be a pretty tough sale. South Pier reporter Ben Morrison has more from Johnson County. For 50 years, kids have been cooling off in the Greenwood pool. With high maintenance costs, the city says it might be time to replace the pool. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have a bigger one, bring in some more people. Two years ago, the city paid nearly $2 million for these 70 acres of land. The Greenwood Park Board recommends building a new aquatic park here, along with ball and soccer fields, tennis courts, and a dog park something the city ought to be able to support, uh, the community leadership ought to be able to support. Most of Greenwood's 14 parks are small, but that doesn't stop kids from having big fun. The proposed new facility will be the largest and most costly project in the park system. I've heard numbers from 12 million to 18 million, <clears throat> and probably everywhere in between. The new park would cost the average homeowner $48 a year more in property taxes. That's a sore spot for some, since they've not received their new tax bills yet. There's certainly some advantages to that for the community, and um, I think it would be very enjoyable. I think as far as the issue of taxes right now, it's a very delicate issue. I don't think they need to go up any more than they already have been. Um, like I said, I think this is a pretty adequate pool. A lot of people enjoy it. I've enjoyed it since I was little. Others say the benefits outweigh the costs of the new park. Yeah, I know other communities have really nice parks, and I don't think uh, $4 a month on my property tax is too much to pay for that. The Parks Board will present the proposed plan to the City Council Monday evening. It may be another month before the Council votes on the idea. In Greenwood, I'm South Bureau reporter Ben Morriston, 6 News. And some opponents of the proposed Greenwood Park believe the city's aquatic center won't be needed because, as we've reported, a privately owned water park is scheduled to be built near the proposed Cabela store that's at Interstate 65 and County Line Road. This is great. You know, the $5 tip was not out of the ordinary. It was the $10,000 bonus that caught the attention of a Pizza Hut waitress from northern Indiana. 20-year-old Jessica Osborne of Angola received that money from three of her regulars. She had told them about how she didn't have the money to go to college. So Sunday, the family presented her with a check money from an education fund they had set up after a death in the family. Osborne says she wants to study photography or journalism. She has yet to decide on a school. Osborne's scheduled to be on Good Morning America tomorrow. That's right here on RTV6. Good for her. Well, don't drink from that hose or even use it to fill up a kiddie pool. The hidden health danger it could pose for your family. Also ahead. Still to come, there's nothing like a little magnetic attraction to heal a broken heart. I'm Stacia Matthews. In today's Staying Healthy News, the science behind these remarkable machines. An exclusive sneak peek, free giveaways, and two of the stars of Dancing with the Stars. After the break, how you can take part in the free ABC event right here in central Indiana. Hi, Indianapolis. I'm Pat Cook. At Holiday World, we keep our park squeaky clean. We have exciting world-class rides like the Voyage Roller Coaster, Free Unlimited Soft Drinks, and the new Bakuli Water Slide and Splash and Safari. It's absolutely enormous. So for smaller crowds and the best value for your family, visit us on a Sunday or a weekday. Hey, Grandma, is this clean enough? Well, you might say it's squeaky clean. Holiday World and Splash and Safari, number one for family fun, now open daily. Yeah, our car died. I don't know. Something used, most likely. Yeah, like an SUV. Under $20,000. One or two years old. 
plus low miles. Where do I find one like that? All right, I'll let you go. I like the blue one. CarMax, the way car buying should be. Inside that helicopter's remote control is something familiar, a battery. And if you think all batteries are the same, consider this. When an Air Life Denver helicopter takes off, it's always a matter of life and death. And when any of their critical equipment depends on a battery, Air Life trusts Duracell. So whether you're saving someone's life or simply making someone's day, it just has to work. Duracell, trusted everywhere. Listen to Six News in your car at 87.7 FM. From the start of wearing the Good Feet Art Support, I started to notice the pain decrease. So in about a week, my heel pain was gone and my knees felt like they were brand new. I tried all different options, different sneakers, different shoes, uh, different pads, and nothing worked. So I tried the arches from the Good Feet store and it worked immediately. I love my Good Feet Arch Support. You can join the countless others who have found relief. Hurry into the Good Feet store today. This is the taste of a tropical paradise. The taste of Papa John's barbecue chicken and bacon pizzas. Grilled all white chicken, fresh sliced onions, crispy bacon, and a sweet and tangy barbecue sauce. Or go Hawaiian and add pineapple. Taste the quality. Papa John's. Get a large barbecue chicken and bacon pizza or our Hawaiian barbecue chicken pizza with pineapple. Your choice, just $11.99. Call or click PapaJohns.com. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Simple economics, son. With a quality vehicle like our Toyota Highlander, we'll save money on repairs, fuel, and resale. Plus, we got a great deal. We aren't spending nearly as much as we budgeted for. So, we have extra money for other things. I know. Mom got really excited about that. Where is your mother? Shopping online. Toyota. A great way to keep moving forward. Magnets decorate our refrigerators, they usher trains along the tracks, even help produce sound in your car speaker. But in today's Staying Healthy report, magnets are helping heal the human heart. Reporter Stacey Matthews is here now to show us how. Love to hear about this. Yeah, it's technology that's actually helping millions of heart patients. Powerful magnets are guiding catheters into hearts to do delicate repairs. Walking is supposed to rev up the heart for good health. My heart started beating real like erratic and fast and I got real lightheaded and dizzy and I would stop and it would go away. But Lisa Thompson developed an irregular heartbeat. Drugs couldn't fix it, but a magnet did. In video provided by Ohio State University Medical Center, a magnetically charged catheter was inserted. Then a powerful magnet pushed and pulled the catheter in her heart to make repairs. These new magnetic probes aren't stiff like traditional catheters. They're limp, like cooked spaghetti. When they're in the body with the magnetic field on, it provides that precision and control, but the magnetic field will never let it uh, create injury to the heart. And using an incredibly precise joystick, doctors are able to steer the probe as little as one millimeter in any direction. Given a choice, would you choose chocolate cake or fresh fruit? If you pick the sweets, you should know the more Western your diet is, the higher your risk for breast cancer may be. Now, breast cancer rates in China are a quarter of those here in the U.S., but Asian women who ate a typical American diet heavy on red meat and sugar had higher rates of the disease. Nutritionists say you don't have to follow an Asian diet to be healthy. Just follow the U.S. Food Guide Pyramid. Well, your garden hose quenches the thirst of your lawn, your flowers, and sometimes you and your children. But the EPA warns against drinking water from garden hoses or even to fill up a kiddie pool. They may contain dangerous levels of lead. Even small amounts of lead pose a health threat, especially to children. Birth defects, brain damage, developmental disabilities, and despite warning labels, some environmentalists want stronger standards on these hoses. So, I mean, and we've all probably oh, we've done all it when we were I've kids. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it as an you adult. You think all the things you know? that we've done. I know. <laughs> we're I here. Know. All right. Thanks so much, Stacia. Uh -huh. Well, RTV6 would like to invite you to a special red carpet sneak peek of the new shows that are coming to ABC. 
D.C. this fall. Indianapolis is only one of 10 cities around the country to host this special event. You're going to get an exclusive first look at the new ABC shows Pushing Daisies and Samantha Who. There'll be prize giveaways and dancers Tony and Elena from Dancing with the Stars are performing. It takes place tomorrow night at 7 o'clock at West Park in Carmel. And it is free. And I think we have an example of some of the prizes in this gorgeous well, bag. This is a tote bag that you uh, can bag. win tomorrow. And there are all kinds of t-shirts from like Jimmy Kimmel okay. Live and Lost. And then Ooh, there are like all the kinds of uh, DVDs of shows. This happens to be from Desperate Housewives. Uh, right there, now, I and you can win so much more. This is an umbrella. More. Will they need this tomorrow? No, that's the good thing. Yeah. I'll let Martha go shopping right in there, and there's the complete uh, list okay. of items. Let's show you true view, <laughs> and I, I wish we had some rain that we could pull out of the bag for tonight, but it appears unlikely. The chance about 20% that you'll see any showers at your house. That's why I have TrueView scanning to the west where we do find some rain over Missouri, Illinois. I'm not giving up hope, but our chance for rain in central Indiana is lower because of the fact that our humidity is so low. Look at the jump in temperatures. That's a fact that the air is dry, too, from morning low to afternoon high, moving from the 50s into the 80s. For Marshall, Bill Niehoff, Bill Reebok and Elwood, and Bob Rogers in Versailles all started in the 50s and ended as warm as 86 in Versailles. Clouds with curb appeal. Those are cumulus clouds, and at least at this point, not building into any showers or thunderstorms. 82, that's the current temperature. Our west wind at 13. 28% is the relative humidity. In my peripheral vision right now, I see Martha repacking the bag. So if you get one that seems a little unorganized, it was because Martha and I pulled everything out. 78 in Terre Haute, 82 in Lafayette, and in Kokomo, 82 in the metro area. The west wind has our humidity down. We'll look for little specks of green to show up here this evening. That's our best chance for a shower or thunder shower between now and tomorrow morning. This area of rain as it slides to the southeast likely stays in the southern portion of the state if it holds together at all. Hold on. We'll go for a true view flight into what clouds we have this evening. Overnight tonight, temperatures again drop into the 50s, so it will be a nice, comfortable start. Enjoy this because our overnight low temperatures will be warming up too. Plan on 83 tomorrow. Any showers to the south and in the morning hours tomorrow. Otherwise, should be rain free. Here's your seven day forecast temperatures warm to Sunday. Our warm Sunday to 87 degrees. And then as we get Monday through Wednesday, temperatures will generally be in. Uh, that range of 90 degrees. Would you believe me if I said I am right next to Martha now and I'm in that bag? That's how big the tote bag is that you may win tomorrow. <laughs> I'm in there. Can you hear me, Martha? Yes, I can hear you, Kevin. All right. Thanks, Kev. All right. Is Tom Davis in there? No, <laughs> I don't think here. so. He's too tall, too. <laughs> Uh, we're looking at some problems on 74 tonight out towards Shelbyville East and westbound. Watch for some major delays on I-74 near State Road 9. They're pulling an overturned vehicle out of a field there. Watch for crews on the scene. Also problems on Southport Road at State Road 37 with an accident tonight. Also crash with injury at 56th Street and Shadeland Avenue near that 56th Street 465 ramp system. Northbound 465 starts to slow at 75th Street approaching I-69 northbound. Northbound 69 jammed up tonight for up to Fishers all the way up to 238 because of the Kenny Chesney concert tonight. Tom Davis, 6 News, and your live drive traffic. Well, another super night for the Super Bowl champs. How the Indianapolis Colts are scoring big with fans. From neighborhood attraction to neighborhood eyesore, how long before the final curtain at the Rivoli Theater? I'm Jack Reinhardt. The story just ahead on 6 News. Race car driver Sarah Fisher for AAA Hoosier Insurance. I trust my race team, and when you're driving, you need a team you can trust too. AAA Hoosier Insurance insures thousands of Hoosiers just like you. I get the best protection possible, and so can you. Insure with someone you trust. AAA Hoosier Insurance, an Indiana tradition. For auto, home, and life, call or visit a AAA location today or click on AAA.com. Evil supervillain Corn has taken our family captive, keeping them from affordable family fun. No family vacation for you. <laughs> Look up in the sky. It's a plane. It's a squirrel. No, it's Ow. it's Ivy Crow. Crow. Indiana Beach and Ivy Crow, vigilant defenders of family fun and excitement for everyone. Thanks, Ivy. Tune in next time when you'll hear our hero say, "Indiana Beach, where there'll always be more than corn." This is spoiled again. Sign up now. Six deals on the go. Sponsored by Papa John's.
Dateline, Indiana. Thousands of race fans are driving to their nearest Subway restaurant for a taste they can't get anywhere else. From Columbus to Kokomo, Greencastle to Greenfield, and of course, Indianapolis, people are revved up about Tony Stewart track packs. Start your engines with real value, great taste, and a free number 20 window cling only from Subway restaurants. Right now, you can get a Tony Stewart track pack for $4.99 or less. Choose from nine delicious regular six-inch subs, add chips and a 21-ounce drink, and get a free number 20 decal. Subway. Race hard. Eat fresh. How much are you willing to pay for happiness? At KiaMatch.com, we can help you find a life partner through our compatibility program. It's so easy. It's got everyone talking. They matched me with a great deal on the Fuel Efficient Kia Spectra, complete with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty program, and we've never been happier. How lucky is that guy? So log on to KiaMatch.com and start getting happy. Find your match at KiaMatch.com or visit your greater Indianapolis Kia retailers. Have fun at ABC's Red Carpet Screening Tour with a sneak peek of Pushing Daisies and Samantha Who. Plus, a special appearance by Tony and Elena from Dancing with the Stars. Friday at West Park and Carmel. There's been a new attack on a Lebanese refugee camp. It tops are covering the world tonight. Five to ten shells slammed into the camp every minute. The military was reportedly trying to flush out the remaining Al-Qaeda-inspired Islamic militants who've been barricaded inside since May 20th. Today's bombings began after a sniper inside the camp killed a soldier overnight. A historic shipment out of South Korea today. This is carrying 6,200 tons of heavy fuel oil and it's heading to North Korea. The shipment is part of an agreement for North Korea to shut down its only working nuclear reactor in a landmark first step toward dismantling its atomic bomb program. A Philippine ferry sank in shallow water, killing at least 12 people. You can see the ship is going under here in this video. The Army was able to rescue 129 people from the inner island ferry. Witnesses say some of the cargo shifted during rough waters, spawned by strong monsoon winds. It flipped the ship on its side. Today marked the longest and most dangerous running the bulls in history. The bulls gored seven people, including an American. Thirteen people were hospitalized, some needing surgery. The run lasted about three times as long as usual because the bulls separated, and that is the most dangerous thing that can happen at Pamplona. They want to stay together. It was another super night for the reigning Super Bowl champs, the Indianapolis Colts, at the ESPY Awards. And the ESPY goes to... The Indianapolis Colts. Yep, the Colts were named best team during last night's show in Los Angeles. We could have told them that. They didn't need an award show. Coach Tony Dungy, Peyton Manning, and other members of the team were on hand for the big night. Our group was nominated for a lot of awards, and I was really hoping that if we won one, this would be the one, because to me, that's what these guys exemplified team. The fans have decided. And Coach Dungy also won an individual honor for best coach manager. Also a big night for Peyton Manning. He won his fifth career ESPY. He took home the trophy for best championship performance for his role in the Super Bowl win. It's been a very exciting year for the Colts organization, really the entire Indianapolis community. And we won a championship in a team sport. And we got a lot of the Colts players and our head coach, Coach Dungy, here tonight. So it makes this uh, very special. And the awards are determined by online voting. You can watch the entire SB Awards presentation Sunday night on ESPN starting at 9 o'clock. So much more ahead in your top six at six, including possible relief to help ease the pain of the property tax crisis. Norman Cox has the plans just announced today. Very soon we'll be saying hello Moto GT, but first we'll have to say farewell Formula One. I'm Rachel Winter Pass with a story coming up live from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway coming up. On Call 6, the company that made bad loans and the people who are owed money. That story next on 6 News. Tonight, they went to war for their country. But when they came home injured and troubled, the Army showed them the door. These are our heroes, and we're putting them out that, that way. To me, it's criminal. Do our returning veterans deserve better? Bob Woodruff reports tonight on World News with Charles Gibson. Share your weather pictures at theindychannel.com. Have you noticed? Bright House Networks is making every service we bring you brighter. For instance, our high-speed internet is now higher-speed internet. As high as 10 megs fast with our premium service. And higher speed means higher satisfaction. Get it all for just $169.95 a month for six months. Digital video, sports pack, HD pack, DVR, premium movie channels, premium high-speed internet, and nationwide digital phone. Call 972-9700 or visit MyBrightHouse.com. 
Are you like me? I have high blood pressure and I have high cholesterol. Sometimes problems come in twos, but sometimes help can come in one, Cadawit. Cadawit contains the leading branded blood pressure medicine Norvasc and Lipitor, the leading branded cholesterol medicine combined in one pill, Cadawit. Cadawit is one of many treatment options I discussed with my doctor. Ask your doctor if Cadawit's right for you. Along with diet and exercise, one pill doing two jobs for me. My doctor said Cadawit's not for everyone. It's not for people with liver problems and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. To check for liver problems, you need simple blood tests. Tell your doctor about any heart problems and all other medications you are taking, or if you experience muscle pain or weakness, as they may be a sign of a rare but serious side effect. For blood pressure and cholesterol lowering benefits, it's Cadawit. One pill, two medicines. Makes sense to you, makes sense to me. Ask your doctor if Cadawit's right for you. Mom, Dad, we need to talk. RTV, wait. Internet, upgrade. And Kelly's phone habits are cutting into my inheritance. Hello, check out this AT&T offer. Three services for about 99 bucks. Digital TV with more HD programming than cable. Fastest internet in town for the price, local and long distance. And wireless with the fewest drop calls. Cable can't beat that. Choose three out of four for about 99 bucks. You got that, Mom? No introductory price, no gimmicks. Plus, bundle and get cash back. Up to 200 bucks. You like money, right? You want this. So, until you call AT&T, we'll be at the Wilsons. Three services, about 99 bucks. Plus, call today and find out how you can get up to $200 cash back. Only from the most complete provider for the way you live. TV, broadband, home phone, and wireless. The new AT&T. Your world delivered. Tonight at 6, Mayor Peterson's plan to make things a little less taxing for homeowners. But will you get the relief you need right now? Formula One and the Motor Speedway are parting ways, but don't rule out a return engagement. Too many marriages. Why a woman's latest wedding landed her in jail. You're watching 6 News at 6. And these are your top six at six, the stories you voted for on our website, theindychannel.com. And your story number one tonight, property tax relief may be on the way for Marion County homeowners shell-shocked by huge increases. Mayor Bart Peterson and others are proposing ways to reduce or even delay those bills. Norman Cox has been examining the options all day. He joins us live with your story number one tonight. Norman, what do we know? Well, Martha, the plans unveiled today are complex and require a combination of approvals from the City County Council and state government. Local leaders hope they will defuse the growing anger from taxpayers fearful of losing their homes.